Hi guys, today we're going to look at uh, 4K dash cam from JKU. This one is D600. Inside the box, we've got the warranty card. This one is a one year warranty. We've got the manual. And we have a couple of uh, stickers, which I normally don't use, but you can do it if you guys like them. And this is our main front dash cam. The front camera is quite compact, which means you can easily hide it uh, behind the rear view mirror. It comes with a detachable mount and uh, you can also rotate the mount 120 degrees. We've got 3M tape on the top the resolution of the front camera is 4K, uh, but only if you use it as a front camera. If you use it together with the rear camera, then the resolution will be 2K, and the resolution of the rear camera is uh, full HD. In front we have the microphone. In the back we'll have the indicator lights, but we'll show them uh, once we install it in the vehicle. Um, on this side we've got the so-called function button. This basically doubles as uh, the lock button, so if you press it once, it will lock the current file. And if you press and hold for 3 seconds, it will turn the dashcam on and off. And I also believe you can reset uh, the camera using this button as well if you hold it for 5 seconds. On the other side we've got the Type-C power port. We've got the port for the rear camera and this is a SD card slot. The dash cam comes with the 32 gigs SD card but it does support cards up to 256 gigabytes. I'll show you what else we have in the box. First we've got the main power cable. Uh, this guy is a 10 feet long type C connector we've got extra USB port right here then we have the rear camera and the cable right here as I said the rear camera is full HD and it can actually be rotated 360 degrees, which is convenient when you install it in the vehicle. Uh, the rear camera can be disconnected like this, which will help you to install it. And uh, the rear camera cable is 20 feet long. Besides that we have the trim removal tool in the set and we have the extra 3M uh, tape for the uh, mount for the main dash cam. Overall it's a great little dash cam, quite compact, comes with only one button which I do like and uh, has removable mount which can be helpful. Uh, besides that it has via camera and uh, it's pretty straightforward, comes with all the necessary features like uh, G-sensor, Super Night Vision, it does have the parking mode support, but you do need to get uh, the hardwiring cable separately for that. Uh, right now we will install the dash cam both front and the rear in the vehicle and we'll show you how it records the video. Okay guys, we have our front and rear cameras installed. This is how it looks like on the windshield. We have two cables the, for the front camera and for the rear and as I said it's pretty much not visible behind the rear view mirror. I will turn the power on. Please format SD card. And as you can see we've got the blue indicator light over there. This means that the camera is on right now. When it's flashing it means it's recording. So at this point it asks us to format the SD card. For this we'll have to install the Jarvis Cam app. 
it's available on the Play Store. Now you can press add camera right here. Next, connect Wi-Fi. These are our Wi-Fi settings and this is the camera we're looking for, JKU D600. The password is 1234567. Connect. Now we can go back into the app. And again, we can see that it asks us to uh, format the SD card, uh, which I'll do right now. I will go to Access Camera, and I will go to Settings. And right away, I will go and uh, format the SD card from here. The dashcam just told us that the format was successful. I will go back and quickly show you guys the application. Well, first of all, as you can see, it shows us the front view right now and it shows us the rear view as well. And this is how it looks, 140 degrees rear view and 170 degrees front view. From the app, you can pause and start recording. You can take a picture. Picture success. picture success. Cool. And we can see there is a picture right there. Also from here we can turn on Mute and off, on. Mute off the sound recording. We can go to album and this will show Stop us recording. all currently recorded videos. And as I said before, you can download them to your phone if you want by using this button. I will go back. I will go to settings Stop recording. and let's go through these options. Sound recording is currently on, speaker volume can be adjusted. If you guys don't want to hear the lady you can turn it off completely but I will leave it high right now. Video resolution is currently 2.5K plus full HD. The reason for that is uh, we have both front and rear cameras working. The 4K option will be available only if you have uh, the front camera. So if you disconnect the rear camera, then you can use the 4K option. Loop recording duration can be changed from one minute to five minutes. You can enable and disable the timestamp. Uh, collision sensing low, this is a G sensor. If vehicle senses a collision, it will save the current file in a different folder. Wi-Fi name, we've got Wi-Fi password, firmware version, format SD card. So again, from here we can format the SD card. And you can also reset the camera settings. I will go back. Start recording. And now our indicator light is flashing blue, which means that the dash cam is recording right now. And I'll quickly show you guys how the function button works. So if you Video lock. Press it once, it will lock current file and if you hold for 3 seconds it actually won't turn off the dash cam completely but it will turn on and off video recording. So I'll hold it for 3 seconds. Stop recording. So now the camera stopped recording, I will turn it back on. Start recording. After three seconds, it will start recording. And as I said, if you hold it for five seconds. Stop recording. Factory default success. It uh, resets uh, dashcam to uh, default settings.